Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and welcome to Plants and Teens. Today in this video, we are going to a plant festival. I am so excited. Like I've been waiting. Like when I say waiting, I've been counting down the weeks, days waiting for this plant festival. I have not been to a plant festival before. This will be my first plant festival. I've been to some planty events like plant swaps and things like that but never a whole entire festival dedicated to plants and there's gonna be food trucks so plants food like it's, it sounds like the best day ever to me so today's festival is going to be by the wicked botanist which what? okay <laughs> yo <laughs> that was the biggest wasp <laughs> You know, there's always a struggle when you're outside. I don't know if this festival is indoor or outdoor, um, but we're going to find out. It's put on by this plant shop, The Wicked Botanist, and they're a pretty great shop. I've been to them. They have some nice plants, and apparently this is the second year they did it. Last year, they was the first time, and this year is supposed to be bigger and better. They have a lot of more vendors, a lot more people confirmed to be coming. Like I said, there's food trucks, so I'm so excited. My friends are coming with me. My mom is coming with me. It's going to be a nice little day day, so... Keep on watching. Are you ready for the plant festival today? Yes, I am. I'm really excited. This is my first one. Don't know what to expect, but I'm looking for some really great outdoor plants, some large plants to fit my nice deck. So maybe you guys can help me pick something out. Okay. okay. All right. So, so my mom has her own YouTube channel. That's why she's so good at this right now. Um, so I'll put yes, her. Visit my Mary Kay. I will. I will link her page <laughs> in the description. Okay, let's go. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I gotta find. Oh, these are carnivorous plants. I gotta look at carnivorous plants for um, Deja. I told her I will call her and show her if they have any carnivorous plants that she wants. I don't see any though. Look at that silver smoke. Those aren't carnivorous plants though. Snake plant, that's a new one. No. Um, food, plant food fertilizer. There is no way they're gonna be done by three o'clock. the line to pay or look at the plants. It being so crowded though. That silver sword, this one looks good though. I like that one. Oh. Oh, they have little billies. Little billy at the age. I wonder how much they are. Which one? Oh, hold on. Thank you. Which one? Oh, this tall one? Yeah, I don't know what oh, it is, but I like those wow. unique leaves. But I think it's a bifenifolium or something like that. Thirty-five? No, that was probably for the price of this. <laughs> There's no way it's thirty-five dollars. No, I think it's a bipinifolium philodendron. Huh? It's the, it's the basket. Yes, that's the cost of the basket. That is nowhere near the cost really of the basket. I was going to say, there's no way that big thing costs that much. <laughs> Look at that monster. Where? That gray tent. Gray tent? Yeah, it's on the floor. I'm not saying a lot. A lot of work is a lot. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh wow, this is literally perfect. It's not real. No, it's real. No, it's not. I just asked her. No, not this plant. The, the no, they're um, they have the plant. Those are the Hoya blooms. 
Oh my gosh. Aren't they cute? That is so cute. I have lots of Hoya collectors that are really lovely and they will give me their excess blooms and I dry them and we stick with jewelry. That is so cool. Thank you. That's a nice sticky ring. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, this. Yeah. Thank you. It is perfect weather. It is perfect weather. Very nice. Beautiful. Big boy. He knows it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, they must not have enough food trucks that the lines are so long. Look at that big black one. Now you see that big black dog? Oh. I don't know. I've never seen it before. Moss. Looks like live moss and then I don't, this blown glass maybe. Uh-huh. Okay. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So it like decorates your, mm -hmm. the body separately. Yeah. Decorate your pot. Okay. It is interesting. I do like this. I want some eucalyptus for my shower. Me too. <laughs> I really want some oh, eucalyptus. Oh, this is the sweet potato plant. Oh, it's so nice. Uh, how much is this one? How much is this one? Um, that one is 40. 40? Yeah, like pudding. Like, it fell in my car. Yeah, it looks a little sad. It's definitely a lot so happier So what are than these one. inside of here? Oh. Yeah, you know what? Oh, that's part of this plan. I stopped short, okay. and next thing you know, everything just started falling. I think so. There's all kinds of stuff here. You see that gold one right there, that gold pot? How pretty the plant is? Guess how much? I see $100. Yeah. The little hangers, that's cute. They keep an airplane alive? I don't know, why don't they put an airplane? <laughs> No, it's just like that. It's an airplane. It doesn't need soil. It doesn't need water. I mean, you do need to water it, but it doesn't need soil. So what do you put it in? Nothing. You can put it in little, just decorative little hangers or... Mine's in my bathroom, so it gets the humidity from the shower. Oh, that's good. I can't get into airplanes. Some of them are pretty. The one I have is in a, like, a gold hexagon type thing. Mm, that sounds cute. Actually, you going to get some help here? I know, it's huge. Yeah. But look at the one next to it though. The one next to it's nice. You want that one? Okay. I can give you mine. I have Oh, this one is so cute. I'm dead. I know. Oh, that is cute. All right, let's find some more options here. Oh, scared me. <laughs> he scared me. I did not know he was there. <laughs> oh, this is Stearns and Stems. Okay, Stearns and Stems, I should say. They do all succulents. This is cool. Which one, this one? Yeah, I like that one too. 
These are not that, they're not that easy, but they're not that bad. It's not that easy. Like, you still still need to water it, but not like. Water it? Okay. No, no, no. Then this might be good. Um, I don't know. I find succulents a little hard. I'm not gonna lie, but I, I do. Can't keep a succulent alive. I, 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 it might be a struggle sometimes to keep a succulent alive, but I do really like it. It's broken. Yeah, but look at that one has the same exact thing. Okay, maybe it's not broken then. I really like this stuff. Ow, ow. I don't think it's broken. I think that's how it is. I think so. I kind of want it. I wonder if this bar was more elaborate than Oh, that's cute. Yeah. All right. There's two, so I know I can come back. The, that big one, right? I saw it. No, it's just leaning over, I think. Yeah, it can't stand up. It, okay. It, the wind keeps blowing it's it. It's beautiful. Is it a Gloriosa? Uh -huh. Nice. How much is it? 90. 90. It has a lot of nice leaves, though. Who's this one? Venantia. Sorry, eight forty-eight. Oh, I like this. So I just got this plant, but this one looks better than mine. <laughs> so. These pots are cute. They're small, but they're cute. Oh wow! <laughs> Interesting looking. I want to say hi to her, but I don't think she's going to remember me, and it's going to be awkward. No, it's not. It's only awkward if you make it awkward. Yeah, but she doesn't. The girl, but she might not remember me. Okay. Nah, it's okay. There's a really big black spider on the table. So sorry. It's a big Hi. Hi. What's up? Good. I don't know if you remember me. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Yes, I do. How are you? Good. I was like, oh, wait, Sarah? Sam. Sam. I knew Sam it was an Kevin. S in Kevin. Okay. <laughs> nice oh to see God. you guys. This, this must be like your jam. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, plants are my jam. I'm not, I came a little late. I feel like I missed like more plants and stuff. It's been insane. Yeah. yeah. It's been wild. It cleared up a little here but uh -huh. before. It's like you couldn't look out without seeing. Wow. I knew it was going to be big, but I was like, I didn't think I was going to miss like all the plants and stuff. The, the first from the fall, it was like this too. It was like. I didn't even know they had one in the fall. Yeah, but the venue like couldn't handle it. Uh, it was not. Like, too much. No, too many people. Uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh. And no parking. This oh, is like, this is better. Yeah, this is only the outside, right? There's no inside part. I don't think so. Okay. No. Uh -huh. no. There's stuff going on inside, but it's, but it's not, not this related stuff. to this. Okay. No. All right. Everything's beautiful. Thank you. So beautiful. Ooh. I'll take more. We're doing a giveaway. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, um, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, look. Here, finally. Some more plants. Oh, they look like herby type yeah. stuff. Okay. Man, we really missed out, huh? Um, oh, this is, is this wheat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. 
<laughs> right? Is that what that is? That's what it looks like. Is it legal here? I think so. Recreation? Yeah, I think so. That's a nice big boy. How's it looking? They have the same dead looking monster as you I think they're just because from being out here and the wind and the sun. Because they feel fine, honestly. They feel well, I firm. Have one of these. But I'm, this, this makes I'm me gonna sad. give you one that's so full. Okay, okay. It's a little wilty, like I said, but it's pretty full. Okay. This one is nice. I do like okay, this, though. I think, is, I think that's an alocasia as well. Ooh, the wind is about to blow. Like this. Yeah, but this is a different one. It has green spotting. Oh, mine looks exactly like this. And you know what? It's resilient because I almost completely killed it. And it's, it's only $22. It's, 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 yeah, I think I got mine up. Like, I like how big yeah, these leaves know. are, though. That's pretty. Oh, I like this one, too. Yeah, that one's neat. I thought they were pea pods at first. <laughs> yeah. Look how big and young this one is. Whoa. So this is the Luca da 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 da. Luca. Luca da da da. Oh, you know, I really want a silver sword. That is beautiful. How much is it? Just about the right oh, price. Jesus Christ. Bright light, water when dry. It, it is very really full though. Out, yeah. You don't usually see them that full. I think this would be worth the price. Ah, uh, I have a baby one. I know it'll take forever to get there, but I'll stick with my baby one. This is a fuzzy patio too? This is cool. It doesn't have a label, so I don't know what it is. I guess this is the same one. <laughs> is this a baby Billy? It is a baby Billy. I know, that's what I'm saying. I don't think the plants are in bad health. I think they just haven't been out in this warmth in forever. Yeah. I really want this one, but I don't want to pay $110 for it. Yeah. Because it's, it's a pretty rare plant. It, co it grows up to look like this, but it can be way, way bigger than that. Like, it grows massive. 200 or something. 220 I know. You might as well. If you're going to spend over $100, you might as well go all the way. I like that. Blue, blue. No, but that that's like something to consider for sure. This is a cute little Hoya. Hoya. Rang? White. Nice. $80. Wow. This little thing is, because it's really rare. It is, and it comes out really nice and white. Well, if it's a good specimen, it'll get white in the leaves, but that one's really not showing that much.
October? Oh, okay. But how much is that? Probably like $200. How much is this? It's fun to Huh. <laughs> well, what I said. They get huge though. Okay, I think I think I do want that dark look. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now, and look you do. That's why I'm not and my love for you. So I made it back home after the festival and I had a good time. Overall, it was so nice. It was a really nice day. The weather was perfect. There was a lot of people. Everyone had their doggies and I wish I had brought mine. Like I really was thinking about bringing them, but I never been. I didn't know if it was indoor or outdoor, and, but I do wish I had brought them. They would have loved to see all those other little doggies walking around, but yeah there was a ton of vendors it seemed to be more like a all-around craft festival there was a lot of arts and crafts as you could see those hand um those hand the handmade jewelry with the flowers the hoya blooms preserved in resin were so cute those were beautiful there's something in my eye i'm sorry and um Anyways, <laughs> there was a lot of nice handmade things, the dried flowers, the tea, the soaps, the candles, the plants. I So it started at 10. We got there at 1 o'clock. It was from 10 to 3. There was no way that thing was ending at 3 <laughs> because there was just so many people there. But um, I didn't think, I mean, I had prior engagements, you know, earlier in the day. So there was no way I could get there earlier. But I didn't expect, like everyone to be cleaned out <laughs> and as you can see like a lot of plant a lot of the plant tables the plant vendors their tables were like half or like pretty much almost empty <laughs> then a lot of the plant tables ran out of plants which is good I mean we saw tons of people walking around with plants so there had to have been tons of plants there we just missed them which I'm not entirely upset about because I really didn't need to be buying no more plants like I really I really didn't need to be spending a whole lot of money on plants. So, you know, it just helped me with, you know, because I didn't now have the temptation in front of me to spend money that I really wasn't supposed to be spending. I went on a budget. I said, I'm going to give myself, what I say? I think I gave myself like $120 to spend. I think I only spent, I'll have to do my math, but I think I only spent like $50. So I did good. I did very good. I'm proud of myself, even though I know it's because there wasn't, <laughs> wasn't much left, but they did have a nice selection. There was some of the more rare plants. As you can see, they had the SB Columbia silver. Then there were some more common. They had a lot of succulents, a lot, a lot of succulents to choose from. So there was a nice variety of what was left. So I'll show you guys what I got. And the first one, which I have been wanting is this, I think this is a monkey tail. Let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong, but I think this is a monkey tail. Um, it should, I guess, as it gets more mature, grow down. And you can kind of see where the new growth is up top here, this portion where it's more white. I don't know if this is, I don't know anything about cactus, cacti. <laughs> I don't know anything about them, um, but I'm assuming where it's more light up here, it looks like that's new growth. And I just love seeing these long draping I believe monkey tails <laughs> and they're so cool so as soon as I saw this I was like oh that is so cool I want that and I think this was 20 I think I'm pretty sure it was $25 for this and I feel like this was a nice full one like there's like what eight in here so I really really like this I was looking for something like this and I feel like I don't know I have one cactus and it's doing okay so 
I feel okay about it. I, I don't feel as incompetent as I do with succulents as I do with cactus. So yeah, I like this. I'm excited about this. I'm excited to have it trailing down, growing long. It's just a, it's just different. It's just really different. Love it. Then I did get one other plant, which this was like a last minute pickup. My friend actually spotted it and I was like, ooh, I do kind of like that. And that is the Dark Lord. I really like this one. And if you guys remember, in one of my previous videos, I was taking care of a plant for my friend that I got for her on Facebook and it was a red emerald, which looks pretty similar, but the leaves come in a different color. And I really liked it. And I was like, dang, I should have got one for myself. So now I feel like, you know, I kind of fulfilled that with this Dark Lord. And I don't know, I feel like it was a nice size. I don't know anything about the market price for Dark Lords and what they should or shouldn't be, but I don't know, I felt like it was a nice size and it was healthy looking. It has a new leaf coming out there. And it just reminds me of the red emerald, the way that it grows, the way that it looks like it grows. It is only one plant though, is it? Yeah, it's only one plant. So, and these internal spaces are super tight. I probably won't chop it anytime soon. I'll just let it grow. Maybe I'll put a stake on it since it looks like it wants to try to climb and then maybe I'll air layer it. I've never done that before. So maybe this will be a good plant to practice air layering because it does have some, it looks like it'll get more aerial roots down there as it gets taller. So maybe this is a plant I'll practice air layering with to then chop it and make it fuller. But yeah, I love the red stems and it comes out this darker color. And I assume like other dark plants, or plants that have color variations, the lighting is what affects, you know, the color. So I probably won't give it too, too much light so that it can stay nice and dark. But the leaves are so like shiny, kind of waxy. It's really nice. I like this. Dark Lord. And yeah, that's all I got today. Like I said, I was like, hoping to find something like, oh, oh my gosh, I would never would have found that, you know, anywhere else or for like a such a great price or whatever. But um, I'm not mad that I did it because I really didn't need to spend the money. So overall, I'm really happy with my experience at this plant festival. And if you heard earlier, I was talking to um, Sam, who from Earth and Goatwear, of course, I'll put her um, information in below she makes those beautiful ceramics you saw i've met her first in the um, plant swap that i went to a few months ago and i didn't know they had one in the fall i completely missed it but it's all right i you know when i catch them i do enjoy being a part of them and i always encourage you guys to just kind of look around in your community if you don't kind of you know put, put out the search you know to look for these type of things you may it may not ever pop up you may never find it and i just searched on facebook you know facebook for the different plant events in my area signed up for some facebook plant groups in my area and that's how these things kind of you know pop up on my social media as in events and stuff so i'm very happy that i found it i had a good time and i always encourage you guys again to look for some planty events in your area get connected with your planty community and if you don't have a planty community in your area you could always be that person to kind of get it started it may take a while it may not blow up immediately but any community how big or small it is if it's genuine if you enjoy it it doesn't matter the point is just to share your planty love with others so thank you again for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, if you like the video please press the like button if you don't follow me on instagram please follow me on instagram if you're not already subscribed to my channel but you like the content please consider subscribing thank you and have a good night